that to this point. So this is, like I said, the open chamber 441 casting. I do unshroud the valve from here all the way around to the top for the 202 valve. Over here, I don't really do anything. Uh, this is a 160 valve. Uh, it would be nice to go in there and unshroud it, but I'm going to lose more than I gain because this head is probably 74 cc's to start. This right here probably took one or two out. So I'm probably at 76 or hell, maybe even 77 cc's. Uh, it'd be nice if I could mill 15 thousandths off of the head and uh, if I could mill 15 off of it, put back what was taken out. He did get a two valve relief piston which I picked for him. But anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the clip parts of it. Also, the intake manifold was fully ported. I went over two and a half to three inches up inside the runners. So let me go ahead and finish where I was at. We'll get some photos and some shots of the final blending and then see scene. What I'm hoping for when I'm done with the 202 valve deal, on the intake side, I'd like to see 175 cc's on the runner. And remember, by going in here on this area, let's get a close-up look. By going in here... See, it was almost closed. When I do a stock comparison, the meat of this guy almost touched the wall. By opening this up, it is going to release a lot of air for the 202, which the diameter really makes a difference from here to here. So to put that big valve in yields benefits, but if you don't go in here and chop all this stuff out in this area and open it up to breathe, putting a 202 valve in ain't going to help you because the 202, as you can see, almost touches the chamber wall, which you have to unshroud it. So stage one, two, and three combined don't equal the work that has to be done on the point five. By the way, stage four would be going in here reaming this out and putting a half inch tubes in it and then taking that wall out then i know i would be the 175 cc to 180 cc mark but money's limited labor wise on this job all i made was 500 dollars on the labor that includes the new bronze guides the three angle valve job with seat concentricity at one thousandths or less porting from 157 uh, to 170 and the point five was was thrown in as a free measure uh, I got him to give me a little bit more money up front than normal to keep me from bouncing a check so it would have cost me uh, $70 had I not done it and usually I charge 200 for the point five so this would have been a $700 set of heads. It is a $500, but he's a heck of a good guy. One of the few good customers that come in here on Craigslist that didn't try to beat me down on my money. He paid for all the parts. We'll get more on that expenditure later. But anyway, that's just what I wanted to go into right now, show you some stuff. Oh, yeah, here's the casting number.